Hey, Monty, uh, you kind of, as you guys went went through that game last night, I, I guess, how did the the mindset change for you guys as you were stopping them? You got two real quick turnovers, and then kind of everything started to, to crash down a little bit for you guys. What do you, what do you think happened there for you guys? Were you guys worn down, or, or was it more of details execution type thing for you guys? Uh, I definitely would say it was mainly uh, – uh, execution and details, um, and just uh, just stand together. You know what I'm saying? I feel like we, uh, my opinion, can't like not really came apart, but like it was just some 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 little missing pieces right there. But I mean, um, besides that, I mean, I feel like we we started to get it back together. It just was, you know, unfortunately it wasn't enough time, and you know we were playing a good team, and uh, those things can't happen when you play teams like that. Jim Colony. Come on, Travis. You you bounced around a little bit and then came here midseason, getting on the moving train, as Mike Tomlin likes to say. You seem to fit in pretty well. What what is it that works here? And is this a place where you would like to stay for a while? Uh, I'm gonna answer your second question first. Definitely a place I would like to stay. Uh, honestly, to finish my career, however long that may be. Um, first question. Um, honestly, I just feel like it's. It's the team uh, from top to bottom. Uh, I really mean that because if it wasn't for these players, and uh, I can't even say veterans. I, I remember saying in the interview earlier, I said veterans, but uh, even from the young guys on, like the leadership here is outstanding. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm a guy who came in, what, week 11, 12, maybe something like that, and you know, I'm getting taught by young guys. I'm getting taught by Cam. I'm getting taught by guys who are the same age as me, like Chris. You know what I'm saying? So, for me, it was just making sure I was a great listener and been a try to be the best follower I could be. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, I, and this is what I believe, you have to be a great follower before you can be a great leader. No strap B. Hey, Monty, where do you think your biggest growth was this season? And where would you like your biggest growth to be this off season? Um, this season coming in, I just felt like it was. Uh, I guess it would be like more, it would have been more penetration. You know what I'm saying? Like just being disruptive. Um, I think next year, um, I think it'll more. Like, uh, honestly, I was talking to, um, when I was still in New Orleans, it's crazy how it happened. We was talking, to, uh, I was talking to the D-line coach, and, you know, we watched film on guys around the league, and we were talking about Cam. And he was just like, man, Cam on, like, year 11, he, and in his eyes, he was the best, like, technician in the league right now at, a, at year 11. So, for me, that's what I want to, that what that's my next thing. Like, I want to be a great technician from, hand steps, like just make sure I'm doing everything right in the game. And of course, you know, getting to know the playbook better. Chris Adamski. Hey, did you play all nose? Did you play any nickel at all without looking back, look at the tape and, and are you able to or play a good end or however, however you want to term Last it? Last game? Last uh, game? Well, n yeah. Or even the last few games, yeah. Uh, I, I know I played some the last few games. I know I definitely played some nickel. I, I don't know if I heard the end of your question, though. Okay, no, I, I just said, so, I mean, I, I think that, that they pretty much ask most of their linemen to be able to play a lot of position, and, you know, that's your ticket to, to, to playing more if you can um, going forward. Do you, you, you feel that flexibility that you could play, you know, wherever is needed? Yeah, yeah for me, I feel like it's uh, whatever is needed because, I mean, um, I feel like I can – bring pass rush to the team. So if it's, and I actually like it being in, so, um, cause I feel like you get an easier one-on-one -on -one and I kind of like the one-on-one -on -one with the center. Um, but, uh, if it's three and it's nickel and I have to, you know, kind of pass rush from, uh, three or, you know, rush that guard and, you know, that's okay too, whatever the team need. For prior. Hey, Mondrevious. When we talked with Alex Highsmith just a few minutes ago, he said one thing that the Steelers as a defense need to do in the offseason is kind of rediscover that nasty attitude. How does a group go about doing that to make it effective to translate onto the field? 
Um, honestly, I just think everybody when we come back next year, um, hopefully, and I'm sure everybody will have the same mindset, um, just because of how last game went, you know what I'm saying? I would hope so at least, but, um, really everybody just got to come back with the same mindset. And then from that on, I mean, it starts from the players, mainly the veterans and, uh, one thing I know about here, I, I definitely feel like we can do that. I mean, I haven't been here long, but the veteran leadership I've seen has been outstanding. Nick Farabaugh. Yeah, Montrevious, you said that you wanted to stay here as a Steeler as long as you possibly could. And how, why, why is that? I mean, what about this place? Uh, what what about this place makes you want to stay? Is it Tomlin? Is it the culture? What about the Steelers? I mean, honestly, love? honestly, um, to keep it short and sweet, uh, and it's ironic that I got on this Auburn shirt. I haven't felt since I've been in the league. I haven't felt uh, that family feel since I left Auburn, and um, this is the place where I felt it at. And I just, you know, as a player, I feel like you don't want to lose that. You know, it kind of comes with a lot of stuff like morale and confidence. You know, what I'm saying, and a guy people feel like could play, you know, could be the next guy up. You know, what I'm saying. So uh, at the end of the day. You just got to keep doing your job, and that's what I want to do. I'm going to get to our last three, and then we've got to keep going. So, Chris Damsky. Montrevious, um, Cam last night talked about, and I know, I don't know how much because you got here late, how close you are, how much you knew, or how much around Tyson and, and Stefan were, and what they kind of mean to you guys as a position group and everything, and, and whether they were able to help, and, and if, in your mind, if they can come back or if, assuming they come back, how much better you guys can be as a position unit? I mean, honestly, you know, I, I, I kind of already know to it a little bit, uh, just from uh, me and to having the same financial advisor. Uh, so I already got a little relationship there, of course, with Cam and then uh, with Tyson. I mean, Tyson's been here every day, you know what I'm saying? Working on his part, what he need to work on. And just as a leader, he been, I mean, he been helping me day in, day out. Um, on the field, out the field, in the middle of the game, you know what I'm saying, whatever whatever he can do. So regardless of what happened, like he he definitely did his part and been a great leader. And I, I would love to play with both of them, or well, all three of them, I guess you would say. Brooke Pryor? Yeah, and we were just talking about the nastiness, and you said it's something that this group you know can find. Is, it, is that something that was lacking at times late in the season or even – Last night, you said you kind of felt like maybe it, it's not that you guys were coming apart, but there were just some pieces that were missing. Is that one of the things that well, you feel like needed? I think, I think the question is a little difficult for me, uh, just on the aspect of I can't speak for what happened in the beginning of the year. You know what I'm saying? So I, I can't really give you a great, great answer. But I mean, uh, like I said earlier, I know we have the guys to do it. And I, I definitely feel like we will. Last question, Noah Strachby. Hey, Monty, uh, I know you've only been here for a short period of time, but what are your thoughts on Coach Dunbar, and has he taught you anything in, in your amount of time here? Uh, man, Coach Dunbar, man, it's been nothing but love, man. Uh, uh, Y'all probably don't know, but uh, when I was a recruit, um, was back in 13, 14, uh, Coach Dunbar was at Alabama. And, uh, you know, that's when I was making my trip over to Auburn. So uh, we already had a little relationship there. So um, honestly, it's been it's been nothing but good vibes since day one. I stepped I stepped uh, to Pittsburgh. 